lot of different things going on here in gold, but the bottom line is gold prices have risen mm -hmm. for five straight weeks now. Remember what else happened five weeks ago? The Fed announced it would start to taper. How much, in the run, how much of the run-up in gold is just down to the Fed pulling back? I think a lot of it. You know, if you look at the timing of it, especially it bottomed right at, on December 31st. And really since January 1st, 2014, it's been a story of rising gold prices. Now the big question is, is this just a, tr a correction against a bigger bearish trend? Right. Are we going to see lower prices going on? Double bottom or flight to safety. Exactly. Like the double bottom, I think at 1180, um, was, it was even better than a double bottom because you had what's called a bear trap. You actually took out that what's low. What's a bear trap? Well, a bear trap happens when you take out a support level on a closing basis, short-term traders rush in and get short based on that bearish technical indicator and there's no follow-through and what you happen is you had rising prices back in you had a dollar reversing against the yen sure. exactly you know right then um, you wrote in your notes this morning that gold increasingly looks like it might be a better gauge of fear than the VIX yeah. how come well it, it may be not better but just different okay. and, and it's been acting similar in that it will rally on equity weakness, but it's quick to give back those gains once then there's some type sense of calm back into the equity markets. So what does that mean? For anyone looking to buy it as a hedge, you need to monetize that hedge fairly quickly because it's not something you can hang on to and expect it to hold on for, say, a couple weeks. Okay, so perhaps a different way to gauge fear yes. in the market. But actually something interesting is happening with the gold VIX. What's yes. going on there? Traders are getting burned long term? Yeah, well, buyers are getting burned. You know, Option, trader, option traders buy options, and it's called getting long volatility. And if they don't get paid in movement, they're going to lose money, and that's really what's been going on. 2013, we saw the gold ranges averaging about $52, $53 a week, yep. meaning high minus low, $52, $53. So far in 2014, we've been averaging below that. And last week, like two weeks ago, we only averaged a tw we only had a $21 range. Last week, given everything that happened on Friday, the range was only $42. So you can definitely look at that as sort of an indication that some sense of calm or complacency in the gold market it might be too early to tell on that. What do the long-term price targets look like right now? Have they changed at all in the last five weeks since this run-up? Longer term, um, I'm still looking at 1160 on the 1160. downside. 1160. On the okay. downside, um, short term, if you get a close back over tw uh, 1270, which is exactly where we failed this morning, yeah. and we're about ten dollars lower now. We could see a run up back up to that 200-day moving average, which is about 12, 1230 right. All right, just quickly, uh, how much short covering ahead of Wednesday's FOMC meeting? Um, it's tough to tell. I think there could be a, a fair amount, but either way, it's going to be a bumpy ride.